We're at the point where we need to talk about what to do next. Um, there are a few things. One, kill the bill. I love that. Kill the bill. I think also uh, 2018 comes to mind. Vote them out. 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 And another one uh, someone authored just this morning. I kind of like it. It rhymes. Cram the scam. <laughs> Cram the scam. assume if anyone needs to stay up till two in the morning and pass handwritten nonsense from lobbyists, they're trying to cram something. It's only fair we should try to cram it back. Um, we are now going to hear from Heather New. She's with Rochester Now, Monroe County Democrats, and she is going to tell you what to do next. And along those what to do next lines, before I hand this over to Heather, you might have noticed in the crowd some of these laminated sheets. These are there for you to take a cell phone picture of. It'll give you an idea of what to do next. We try to make it easy. Hey everybody, I am gonna try to keep it short because don't tell my mom I didn't bring a winter coat. And uh, at this point, I think you're all fired up. However, if I may just try to enrage you quickly one final time. Does anyone here know what the Johnson Amendment is? Yes. Okay. So that's the thing that says if you're a not-for-profit organization, you can't engage in political activities. Somehow, inexplicably, that the repeal of that amendment is included in this tax bill. So some of you might be familiar with that time John Oliver raised millions of dollars by starting a fake church. <laughs> That's about to become a real thing. Except instead of John Oliver, it's going to be Adelson, the Koch brothers, Steve Bannon, the Mercers, pretty much everyone who was responsible for uh, what's going on in, in the White House right now. So, with that in mind, first, kill the bill. Okay, I'm torn between being empowered and really uncomfortable with this kind of power. Um, okay, so first, we are many, a lot of our presenters have said this, we are lucky to have good representatives in New York. So call, call good old Chuck, thank him. Senator Gillibrand, thank her. Congresswoman Slaughter, thank her. Then remember that all of Western New York is not quite as lucky as us, as uh, my friend Michelle pointed out. Those represented by Chris Collins, Ooh. John Katko, Ooh. Tom Reed. Ooh. Yeah, not great. <laughs> so if you live in their districts, if you're a parents live in those districts and their license is your address is still on that your license you know if you have friends harass them shame them get them to do something tell them that they need to st they need to stand up they need to stand against this for all of the myriad of reasons that you heard today let them help us amplify our voices you can call them too because no we are not their constituents however this is western new york Western New York, and we are one of the three states that are going to be hit the absolute hardest by this tax bill. Um, you can also pressure senators. Again, our senators are awesome, we're very lucky. However, there are those senators who made these ridiculous loopholes. On this wonderful sheet, please take it, take a picture of it, there's copies on the table. There's also copies of uh, the phone number and addresses of the three congressional representatives I mentioned who might need some nudging, so feel free to contact them. But these are the things like the university who the DeVosses gave money to are somehow going to benefit, and that's the only university. That's, these are the deals that these senators cut while we were all sleeping. Call them and pressure them. This is unacceptable. This is not how democracy works. And then, once all that happens, Let's worry about 2018. 
there is a lovely progressive who we're so thankful to hear. She's in a white coat carrying a clipboard. Her name is Amy. She has voter right registration cards. If you're not registered, register now. If you think some of your friends might not be registered, ask them. I literally ask everyone I know and shame them until they register. And then I shame them again on election day and tell me they, until they show me the sticker. It's not enough that they told me they vote. I want to see the sticker. Evidence. Uh, yes, evidence. I'm a lawyer, you know, I need it. Exhibit A, give me the, give me the sticker. But again, so that's really important. But if there's one lesson we can take away from Supervisor Maley, uh, board member Robin Will, our new Democratic County Legislator Howard Mafucci, is that if you walk, knock on doors, tell people that we are here, that there are progressives in Monroe County, we want to help, we want to listen, we want to come up with solutions, they will come out and vote for you. And it's people like us who show up on a Sunday after a 24-hour organization by the incredible folks at Action Together Rochester, Indivisible, Center for Disability Rights, Rochester Now, uh, the Young Dems, which, you know, shameless plug. Um, but listening to a lot of Pod Save America, I can't help myself. So these people, we need your help. We need boots on the ground. We need you to go take the energy from today, go out to your friends and neighbors. There's a blue wave rising. And I don't intentionally mean this to be partisan. However, you'll notice all the people that agree with us tend to be Democrats. <laughs> Just kind of what happens. So there's a blue wave coming, and we want it to overtake all of the deplorable things that have been going on so far. So register to vote. Vote. Call your representatives. But more important, follow on Facebook. Sign up for one of the uh, email lists from one of our organizations. It's going to be a lot of work in 2018, but if people like Howard can get elected, elected in Pittsburgh for the first time in who the heck knows how long, Monroe County is ready to turn blue and our local officials and our local representatives, those who are accountable to us, are the first line of defense in stopping all of this nonsense that's going on coming from the White House and Congress while we're all trying to sleep. So vote and call and kill the bill! Thank you once again, everybody, for coming. Um, I think the first thing we need to do is just melt some phone lines next week. Uh, reconciliation is not a foregone process. Yeah, okay, it's a long shot. Long shots sometimes win. Let's do this. Look on um, Action Together Rochester, Indivisible Rochester. Um, there is a list that's going around. Take a picture of that. Please light up those phone lines, fill up the mailboxes. It's the power that we have right now. The other thing I'd want to say is that um, insidiously, most of these um, provisions don't take place until after elections. So if you have friends that say, see, a lot of fuss about nothing, everything's fine, you might want to point that out. Just, just saying. So, what are we going to do? Kill the bill! 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 Kill the bill. Kill the bill. It doesn't make you. It won't roll out and affect people until after the 2020 election, not the 2018. It's the 2020. It's that so long that game that they play, the, the long, long dirty game. game. Right. Very worried. Get about your friends that. and family in red states to call, too. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.